हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू द यूट्यूब चैनल ऑफ योर पीडिया इंजीनियर करियर पॉइंट्स सो आई विनीत शर्मा योर मेंटर ऑफ मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग सो एज यू नो द एच पी एस एल एच पी एस एल एज अनाउंस दी वैकेंसीज फॉर ऑल दी एलिजिबल इंजीनियर कैंडिडेट्स हेयर एंड द लार्ज नंबर ऑफ एन वैकेंसीज हैज बिन आउट फॉर दी मैकेनिकल इंजीनियर ऑल्सो ओके सो टुडे इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डू दी प्रीवियस प्रीवियस ईयर पेपर एनालिसिस ऑफ ऑल दी रिसेंट ईयर्स लाइक ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी of the mechanical engineering part so first of all just uh, let me provide you the brief introduction about the paper pattern so there are around to total 170 questions in this particular exam okay out of this 170 questions 85 questions are going from uh, going to be from the technical portion and the remaining 85 questions are going to be the non technical part here so in the non technical portion you are going to see the 17 uh, 17 questions are from the english language and the remaining 34 questions are from the intellectual potential test here and the remaining 34 questions are going to be there from the quantitative aptitude here okay so i can say the total 85 questions these three sections are going to be covered in the non technical portion here now coming back to the technical portion uh, there are around 15 topics which we have to cover for this particular exam okay and there is one more thing in this particular exam you are not going to see any numericals it is basically the theoretical based questions which has been asked from the technical portion also okay Uh, this exam is almost similar to the BEL exam as well as the BDL exam. Okay, so you don't have to cover up the entire uh, numerical portions whilst uh, preparing for this exam here. Now, if you just see from the mechanical engineering subjects here, strength of material, production engineering, theory of machine, fluid mechanics, as well as the industrial engineering. These are these five are the most important subject uh, which has find its uh, weightage more weightage here as compared to the other subjects here. So let us uh, move toward the industrial engineering part first. So here you can see in the last uh, year, 2024, and before that, 2023, a number of questions has been asked. Almost around 20% of the questions has been asked from this particular topics here. Okay, in the 2024, 14 questions are there for out of the 85 questions, and the remaining 11 questions are there from in the 2023 out of the 85 questions here. Okay, so you have to prepare the industrial engineering section very well here. Now, after the industrial engineering portion, we have a strength of material as well as the theory of machine. So, in the strength of material, also, if you see, in in the last five years, okay, the number of questions are almost same here. Almost ten to twelve questions has been asked in all the years. So, I can say uh, the strength of material comprises of around ten to fifteen percent of your total exam here. Okay, the total number of questions. Are 85 out of which the 10 to 12, 10 to 15 questions are going to be there only from this 10th material part here. Okay, so make ensure that you cover that subject also. Okay, and the next subject which is going to be important for you is the theory of machine. In the theory of machine also you can see the maximum number of questions which can be asked from this single subject is 17 in 2022 exam here. Okay, and the and all the remaining year almost 10, 12 or I can say 14 to 15. Uh, Questions has been asked from this particular topic here. Okay, so you have to prepare this theory of machine part also very well. So this theory of machine part is also including the vibration part here. Okay, a large number of questions has been asked from this vibration post portion also. Like we have to calculate the natural frequency, we have to calculate the uh, value of the critical speeds as well as the stiffness of the systems here. Okay, this type of questions is normally asked from the theory of machine part here. Now, if you see just see the fluid mechanics portion, some basic basic numerical like. Uh, how to measure the pressure how to measure the head losses in the flow through pipe these type of questions is asked from this particular topics here okay and you can also see in 2021 afternoon shift 20 questions almost 20 questions has been asked from this particular subject and in the recent year 2024 17 questions has been asked from this particular subject here okay so make ensure that whenever you are preparing for the fluid mechanics you cover up the some basic numericals as well as the theoretical portions as well here okay uh, now let's coming back to the thermal thermal engineering part here in the thermal engineering part we have different different subjects like thermodynamics heat transfer power plant rac ic engine so in this case if you see just see thermodynamics and the heat transfer are going to be important for you because uh, from the ic engine itself there is very less chances they are going to ask you question if they ask any particular question from this particular subject so they are going to ask you that how do you calculate the value of the efficiency of an auto cycle diesel cycle and dual cycle what is the formula okay and uh how do we measure the quality of a fuels these type of questions are normally asked from this particular portion i see in general so this is not so much important for you but if you just see the heat transfer and the thermodynamics in the, from this part again the theoretical questions as well as the numerical question can be asked here okay and specifically in the case of thermodynamics you have to focus on the properties of pure substance chapter here 
because in from that section the question on the basis uh, questions on the molier diagram question on the maxwell's equations as well as the questions on the critical point triple point these uh, topics has been covered here in the recent year recent year and uh, coming back to the heat transfer heat transfer is uh, almost a is also a very important subject like fluid mechanics only okay because if you just see almost the number of question which has asked which has been asked from this particular topic it may vary up to 8 to 10 here okay so i can say that 10 percent of the paper is coming out from the heat transfer part here and in the case of heat transfer you have to focus specifically on the numerical section sorry specifically on the theoretical section from the convection part as well as the heat exchanger part okay uh, some basic numerical can also be asked from the conduction part okay so there we have there you have to calculate the value of the total amount of heat transfer the rate of heat transfer i can say for the value of the overall heat transfer coefficient which we normally calculate okay while solving the conduction conduction problem this type of questions has been asked from this particular topic here okay so these are going to be the most important subject for you so make ensure that whenever you are preparing for this particular exam you uh, focus primarily on the strength of material production engineering theory of machine and the fluid mechanics and the heat transfer thermodynamics so these six or seven subjects are going to be very very important for you and the remaining subject you can leave as like rac ic engine they are not so much important for you along with that you have to uh, make ensure that you cover up the current affair part also because in the 2023 exam 10 questions has been asked from the miscellaneous topics which are related to the current affair okay what are the current development in the technological field in your mechanical engineering field you have to know okay uh, which kind of missiles has been launched what about, uh, what is the recent government policies related to the engineering sector here these type of questions is asked in the miscellaneous topics here okay so just make ensure that you go through that particular section here that is also a very important part for you okay so this was the main motive of, uh, of mine to share the analysis to do the analysis of you okay do the do the analysis for you here so make ensure that you cover up these subjects here and you only focus on the theoretical portion specifically okay and 10 to 20 percent focus your uh, your focus should be on the numerical part here and that should be on the theory of machine as well as the fluid mechanics as well as on the heat transfer here these uh, these three subjects have we have to cover on the basis of the numerical as well as the theoretical portions here okay and uh, one more thing here we have launched uh, we have launched our module here and the module is going to be started from 7th of june okay and we are going to conduct a live classes from the 7th of june itself so you can join us as soon as possible here okay so so that you can start your journey with us okay so thank you very much okay.